EU member states have provoked the UK since Brexit in their support for Nicola Sturgeon's Scottish independence, a political expert told Expressed the Scottish First Minister has suggested that a Supreme Court ruling makes the case for independence even stronger. This week, the court, the UK's highest, said that two pieces of legislation passed by MSPs earlier this year went beyond the Scottish Parliament's powers. The pieces, which sought to enshrine treaties on children's rights and local government in Scots law, must return to Holyrood to be redrafted, the court ruled. The ruling said that sections in both bills could undermine the unqualified power of the UK Parliament to make laws for Scotland, which would be in breach of the 1998 Scotland Act. But Ms Sturgeon said this made the case for independence even stronger as being in the UK overrode Holyrood's autonomy to lay down its own laws. She is hoping to hold a second independence referendum by the end of 2023 in order to circumvent such issues. While she has made countless arguments to prove why Scotland should become independent, the 2016 Brexit vote has been a particular focus. Scotland had the highest vote share for Remain Anywhere in the UK, 66%, but was still forced to exit. Ms Sturgeon has hinted several times that she would take an independent Scotland back into the EU. And while the EU as a single entity has not confirmed whether it would welcome Scotland back, Dr. Arlen Balak, a professor who specializes in German politics at the University of Bath, said that some member states have used the independence question to subtly provoke the UK. When asked how a new German chancellor and coalition government might move to ease relations with the UK, he said, the official message will always be we want to normalize relations with the UK and the friendship with the UK, which is an important NATO partner. Queen Margaret II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.